What's up you guys, it's Thomas here. It's another Sunday, which means another unboxing video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the AM Film Tempered Glass Screen Protector. Now, why this particular screen protector? Well, I chose this particular screen protector because I was on a budget, and so it's $8 for two glass screen protectors, which is basically $4 a piece. It's much cheaper than all of the competition on the market, so let's take a look and see if these budget screen protectors can really compare to the more expensive Zag screen protectors. All right guys, so here I have the screen protector and here I have my iPhone with a Zag privacy glass screen protector. Now the reason I'm replacing the screen protector is just because when I installed the screen protector, it got a lot of bubbles inside of it. Sure, it's a pretty hard, scratch-resistant, nice screen protector, but it's kind of cracked around the edges and it's just falling apart after about a year of use. Um, so let's just check out this new AM film screen protector. So it comes in like a little shrink wrap. I'm gonna cut it off. And the link as usual uh, to buy this product is in the description down below. So here is the screen protector and it has a little tape bit. Cut up the knife. And it advertises scratch resistance, 9H hardness, and say zero bubble screen protector. So I'm gonna install this on the video and test all of those out. And I'm also gonna test the second screen protector for scratch resistance and see how much pressure I have to put for it to crack. So I'm just going to take off the lid. Inside it comes with a lifetime warranty, which actually the original reason that I bought my Zag screen protector was because the lifetime warranty, but if this comes with the same thing, then, well, why not just buy this? So, let's see. Let me set that aside. Screen protector installation kit. Comes with a little paper thing to remove all of the bubbles, nice microfiber cloth, installation guide, 100% satisfaction guarantee, so they promise that they will replace it if it's damaged upon arrival, and they'll refund in exchange, if, they, if you don't like it, I think, or if it doesn't come correctly. So. And then here we have, of course, what's nice is they give you two screen protectors. So they give you two installation kits with the wet wipe and the dry wipe. Then, of course, a dust removal sticker. It's a very nice unboxing experience. It's all just set up thoughtfully, especially for an $8 product. Two screen protectors. And I'm just going to set this stuff aside. One of these screen protectors. I'll leave the dust removal stickers, the wipes. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove my Zag screen protector by slipping my fingernail under it and just lifting it. And here it is, set it aside. So I'm just gonna start off by wiping down my phone with this microfiber cloth and it is shut off. Uh, I meant to shut it off. Okay, it's shut off. And I'm going to wipe it down just to remove all this gunk that, you know, sits wrong along the edges of the old screen protector and, you know, builds up and gets all sticky. Then I'm going to wipe down my phone screen with the wet wipe, which is normally just an alcohol wipe. So you don't really have to worry about water damage because the alcohol just uh, evaporates quite quickly. But... I usually shut my phone off just to be safe and I recommend that you do that too. Uh, as well as it's much easier to do this process with your phone shut off simply because you don't have to worry about getting notifications and when your screen's completely black it's easy to see dust. Whereas if your screen is on and bright you might miss dust. So I'm going to wipe this down. Next I'm going to use the dry wipe. Which I've never actually seen a dry wipe come with a screen protector. But I think it was just to, you know, dry off the screen. So it's easier to 
install the screen protector. So I'm gonna dry it off right here, like so. Make sure I get the edges of the screen because sometimes junk builds up there. Now I'm gonna use the uh, dust removal stickers. And I like to go at this for a little while, so I'm just gonna speed it up, but I like to just, you know, go at this for a long time and make sure I get every bit, bit of dust off my screen because you don't want to stick a piece of glass on your phone and then realize that, oh, it's all dusty. All right, now I'm going to install the screen protector because I think I got almost all of the dust off. Yeah, this looks like me. So it comes just like this so with some nice pull tabs on the top and bottom. That's actually really nice. It helps you install it easier. You'll turn it upside down, remove the protective layer covering the sticky bit, line up the screen protector with the little sticky or the pull tabs. Okay, now I'm just gonna rub it with my finger to remove all these bubbles. And I'm gonna use this bit to just push all of the bubbles to the edge. And I'm gonna pull that off and boom. There's a couple minor bubbles, but the screen protector is on pretty darn good. Yeah, it looks pretty darn good. And I'm just gonna turn on my screen to test it out. Yeah, everything's nice and clear, you know. Uh, everything is, all the cutouts are perfectly lined up. It's a pretty decent screen protector for $4. The only thing that I don't really like is one thing I noticed on the Zag screen protector is the edges were more rounded on the screen protector. Whereas on this one, they're not really rounded. So it kind of creates like a sharp edge, but it's not going to cut you. It's just like rough. All right, so now let's test out scratching these screen protectors. So on the left-hand side, I have the Zag Invisible Shield Privacy Glass screen protectors. And on the right-hand side, I have the AM Film screen protector, and I'm just gonna remove the protective cover off the top. I'm on the wrong side. So side by side, they both look like pretty high quality glass. And I'm just gonna test out scratching them. Wow, that's not scratching at all. So the AM, so the AM film is pretty darn scratch resistant. It's completely smooth. Now let's test out the Zag. I'm just gonna wipe it down so it's easier to see. And the Zag screen protector is actually scratching much easier than the AM film screen protector. So I'm just gonna try to scratch it some more. Yeah, there's a lot of scratches on here. Let me show you close up. So yeah, that's where I was scratching it. And as you can see, there's a bunch of scratches right up there. And with the AM film, I'm just gonna scratch it some more. There's a few minor scratches like on the left side, but they're very difficult to see uh, compared to the Zag screen protector. So for the scratch test, I'll say the AM film is a clear winner. Now let's try stabbing these screen protectors to see if they crack. It's the AM film. That's the Zag. Let's look at the AM film. All right, so I see barely any uh, spots where I stabbed it right around here. It's a few minor scratches, but that was from scratching it earlier. And on the Zag screen protector, as you can see, there's a bunch of clear stab marks right here. Although on both screen protectors, they're still quite smooth and they look quite crisp. It's just, you know, the marks. All right, now let's test how crack resistant they are. So we're gonna start out with the Zag screen protector and I'm just gonna hold it out right here and I'm gonna stick one finger there. Just bending but not cracking, two fingers, three fingers, and now I'm just going to, it snaps right in two, but it doesn't really crack much 
And what's nice is even though it's shattered, there's not glass anywhere going around. Now the AM film. One finger, two finger. It feels much more stiff than the Zag screen protector. Three fingers. And I'm just gonna... Wow. Maybe it's because I have this backing layer on. Here, I'm just gonna see if I can crack it. Wow, it's bent a lot, but it's not cracking. So, the AM film is gonna win there one more time. Wow. Alright guys, so overall, I would say that the AM film screen protector definitely won over the Zag screen protector. Not only it costs, it's way cheaper than the Zag screen protector. Uh, it's also a little bit more scratch resistant, uh, a little bit more crack resistant, and uh, marks on the Zag screen protector are just way more visible, like when I was stabbing it, than with the AM film screen protector. And for $8 for two screen protectors versus like $20 for the Zag screen protector, one of them, it's a great deal. So I would totally recommend the AM film screen protector. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, then let me know by clicking that subscribe button. And if you have any comments or concerns, let me know in the comments section. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.